Welcome back guys, got my battery recharged so I'm just going to summarise where we got to. Okay, we set up our th normal throttle curve for um, 0, 65, 75, 90 and 100 and our uh, throttle uh, pitch curve, pit, uh, sorry, stunt stunt mode throttle curve for beginners. Go back and set it up like this, for just like your throttle curve. So if you hit that switch, it'll stay exactly how it is. The, thr the actual throttle won't change at all. And the same with this stunt mode too. But intermediate guys that are doing sports and um, 3D. But it will beginning 3D, so that you can set it up for stunt mode 1, throttle curve for um, 80, 80, 80, 80 across. And stunt mode 2, set it up for 100, 100, 100, 100. Okay, so flat line 100 all the way across. And the reason I do that is I've, I did try the V1 where it was a 100, 90, 80, 90, 100. And I noticed that when I rolled it over and I was bringing the... Um, collective back to neutral to allow it to roll over under zero pitch um, and then when you go to put the negative on to give it a bit of a, a, a buff and then flick it over again it was actually take, it was dra dra drawing the motor down too far and causing it to drop out of the sky quite a lot so what I did is I increased it up to a hunt up, up to the full up to an even one anyway so like on stunt mode one it's an even 80 percent so you don't have any problem with throttle lag and same with um, stunt mode 2 full noise okay um, so we'll move on to the pitch curves um, normal normal pitch curve I've got it set up on uh, you your guys will be different you'll need to have your uh, first of all you need to make sure that you have got zero pitch at mid stick so set up that first um, so what you want to do is basically set your go go and right, have a look down here on your, and if you have a look down on your curve and you're moving your um, throttle lever, see those numbers going up. You to take it up to fifty fifty. Okay, so that's 50, that's basically your 50 input output, so that's mid stick for the throttle. Um, so what you want is over here, in your normal pitch curve, you want it set up at 50%. Okay, so 50% and the middle one, the top one will be 100%. And the middle one, if it's inactive, it'll be the middle, so 75. But if it, you have mucked around with those settings, you have to change number 3 to 75%. Okay. So, basically, we want zero pitch. So you're going to have to put a pitch gauge on, mid stick. And you should have zero pitch. And that should be where you set everything up on your heli so that all your um, shafts are set up correctly um, which is heaps of tutorials on I'm not going to go into that right now okay so we'll go into pitch curve 2 uh, stunt mode stunt mode 1 so basically I've got a look sorry with the normal pitch curve it's a little if you look look at number 1 uh, L and 1 um, L is minus 1 to minus 2 degrees pitch, so whatever that, that might be different for you guys, because all servos are different. So basically you leave your pitch gauge on, and then change point 1, put, pull the stick down to the lowest point, and adjust that up or down so that you get minus 1 to minus 2 um, pitch on your gap pitch gauge. Alright, either that up with your fly bar, or use a fly barless um, uh, digital gauge if you if you wish to do that okay so and then the the second one along if you haven't mucked around with the settings it should actually map halfway in between there and 50% whatever your value was and 50% and um, but if you have mucked with it you're gonna have to work out the difference between whatever your minus 2 setting is here in this case it's 41.5 so you're gonna have to put it around 46 
to 46.5 okay um, pitch curve 2 which is your stunt mode 1 mo mode if I flick that into stunt mode now it should start flashing yes it is put it back in normal mode okay we want a, what we call a linear pitch curve so basically at, at bottom at, at idle we want maximum negative lift so for intim sorry for intermediate guys intermediate guys only beginners set your pitch curve and idle up and idle up to for this, exactly the same as your normal so if you flick that switch by mistake you're not going to end up uh, doing anything crazy okay so uh, intermediate guys set up for a linear pitch curve so you want um, so you're doing sports flying etc so set it up for um, on here at low stick 0% don't get this confused with the actual pitch on your um, heli so we just want to set this up first we'll talk about pitch in that later um, so this is just the curve we're talking about alright so don't get confused with 0 as being 0 degrees or anything silly like that on the actual pitch gauge we'll talk about that later okay so the second one it'll either be inactive if you haven't mucked with it or it'll be 25 the next one will be 50%, the next one it will be either an active or 75 and 100%. And exactly the same for pitch curve 2, and exactly the same for the um, hold, throttle hold curve. So if you ever do have a failure, your pitch curve for throttle hold will be the, exactly the same as your idle up one stunt mode 1 and 2 modes. All right? So your pitch won't change. If you have a failure, engine failure, and you need to bring the heli in, um, you can bring it down with the same stick kind of you have the same pitch range that you had so there'll be no change there you won't have to relearn how to fly it when it's failed okay so revo mix you want to leave all of that alone revo mix is only for a rate only gyro which is old school stuff old scales that, that used to have uh, rate mode only and uh, anyway I won't go into that so zero 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 do not touch okay Gyro sense. Um, yes, we want gyro sense, and we can either set this up on um, rudder DR switch, or I set mine up on F mode for flight mode, and then that way you can set it up on idle, uh, normal, idle up, and um, hold. Okay, so um, what we do here is we're going to set one point, I, I, what I do is I just to, to when you're doing your settings on the actual helicopter itself set up one for um, let's just say minus ah, sorry say 30 something like that anything under 50 percent will uh, take it out of heading hole mode so and what we want to do here is go over to here and change hold to one so when it's in hold mode you will be able to move the cycle uh, the uh, rudder on the on the left here you, if, if it's mode two you'll be able to move the rudder from left to right and it will immediately go back to central so that you can actually um, make sure you've got all your mechanical linkage set up and everything okay um, later you might want to move change this um, to be a little wee bit less in normal mode okay so when you're actually f uh, when you've got this set up uh, to go for f actual H uh, heading hold mode AVCS start at around 70 percent if you take it up and it starts rattling its little tail off then you know you've got a little bit too high take it down three points and give it another lift and see what happens if it's not going at all take it up another five at a time until it starts really wagging its tail and then bring it down drop it back three points take it back up and see if it's doing the same thing again so you want to get it just below where it's um, doing that where, where it's actually wagging its tail okay so um, any questions about this here give me give me a holler and I'll happily explain it to you um, leave your program mixing alone um, timer you might want to set your timer for stopwatch or countdown that's for your, for your batteries basically I set mine to let's just say five and a half minutes okay 
and you can make that six or four or whatever you want, whatever your battery's good for. Okay, so um, that's just a visual on what the sticks are doing at the moment. So what you would do from at this point here, now that you've got your pitches set up, we'll stay away from Expo at the moment. Um, and we leave the auto DO Expo and, and everything uh, inactive.